Nephroptosis is defined as the renal descent of more than two vertebral bodies when the patients move from supine to standing position. Still, the kidney returns to normal location in supine position. More than 170 nephropic C techniques have been described, but they have been largely discredited because of wrong indication. However, there is a renewed interest in symptomatic nephroptosis. With new diagnosis criteria and laparoscopy is the standard therapy. Percutaneous nephropixies are a cost and time effective alternative. We present a new percutaneous technique with suture passed through the kidney, performed in four female patients, diagnosed with ultrasound. IVP showed the descent of the kidney in the standing position and the kink of the ureter. The renal scan showed the right kidney descent and decreased perfusion in the standing position. The patients were placed in head down split leg modified lateral position, retrograde ureteral catheter insertion and opacification upper calyx access and insertion of one step dilation and the 24 French sheath. The nephroscope is introduced in the renal pelvis, another lower calyx puncture and insertion of a guide wire. A 6 French dilator insertion. Number 2 polyglactin suture is passed in the renal pelvis through the dilator. Then it is extracted with an alligator forceps through the upper calyx. The working sheath and the nephroscope are retrieved from the kidney and retroperitoneoscopy is performed. Nephrolysis is performed with the tip of the nephroscope using blunt dissection until reaching the dilator sticking out the renal capsule. The dilator is retrieved, polyglactin suture entering the renal capsule and parenchyma. The nephroscope is retrieved outside the retrorenal fascia. Blend dissection using nephroscope or using the alligator forceps. Blunt dissection of the posterior lateral aspect of the kidney. The nephroscope and amplat sheet are reintroduced in the kidney. A Foley catheter is inserted. The balloon is inflated in the renal pelvis and the kidney is attracted to the abdominal wall. The suture is now traversing the kidney from the lower to the upper calyx. The 18 gauge needle is passed from the upper incision to the lower puncture beside the suture. The suture is introduced in the needle. And attracted in the upper incision. The polyglactin suture is passed in the subcutaneous tissue from the lower to the upper incision. Then it is tied without too much tension. To allow the initial scurrying of the kidney, the patients were advised to stay in bed in the dorsal position. Control IVP in the standing position showed the kidney in higher position compared to preoperative IVP. This technique combines the nephrostomy tract of the percutaneous technique, the nephrolysis and suture of the laparoscopic technique.